Another tip when using Photoshop is something I wish I had known when I first started, um, and that is the fact that there are a lot of things that are built into Photoshop that just aren't turned on or installed, I guess. For example, here in our Actions tab, we have an action, a default Actions folder with things like, you know, image analysis and, you know, etc. But if we click the little arrow and we go down to Load Actions, we can choose things like, you know, image effects and load it. And let me go back over here to load actions and textures and load it. And let's do one more here. Load actions, um, text effects and load it. And so now instead of just having this one folder, we've got things like aged folder, uh, aged photo, oil pastel, sepia tones, um, we have some of our textures in here, such as parchment, recycled paper, etc. And then we even have, down in text, we have chrome and, you know, those kinds of things. Likewise, you can go up to your brush, and another tip here, I prefer to view my brushes in small thumbnails so that I can see what they are a little bit more. And, but there's another thing here, if you click this little arrow and you go to load brushes, there's a bunch of brushes that are not installed. For example, faux finish brushes. You've got some nice new effects here now. Let's try another one, such as um, assorted brushes. Okay, so you can see that there's other these little effects. Um, and that's all just available by turning them on and plugging them in. Um, and they are in your folder. And there are other things that you can add as well. So you might just kind of look through and see what other kind of functions you can find. Enjoy.